Now the socialist term for charity is economic or social justice. And it states that regardless of anyone's work ethic, their moral choices or their attitude, that everyone has a right to anything that's available in that society. And that it's the government's responsibility to disperse everyone's property equally among the people. In other words, to take from those who have and to give to those who don't have. The traditional American biblical standard regarding charity or welfare is much different though. Mr. Robbins continues as he writes, before the 20th century, the notion that the poor were somehow entitled to the property of others had no place in America. The Bible itself teaches no unconditional duty to help others simply because they need help. Paul commands, he who does not work, neither shall he eat. Because Paul knew that there's always plenty of work to be done. Even if you're not getting paid, you can always do something to contribute to the welfare of others by simply working to help out others. Paul says that there's no duty to support anyone who can work but chooses not to. The Bible knows nothing of either legal or moral entitlements to the property of another simply because someone needs help. Paul's command, if obeyed then, would mean the immediate end of the welfare state. And now, it's not the Bible, but Karl Marx who teaches, to each according to his need, from each according to his ability. The Bible simply says, you shall not steal, you shall not covet what is not yours. We should mention that prior to Christianity, there were no such things as hospitals. In both Roman and Jewish cultures, ordinarily, the sick were cast aside and treated as inferior. Only the elite people, the well-connected, the rich, could afford any kind of medical treatment. Care for all of those with ailments was a uniquely Christian idea based upon the fact that all men are created in the image of God. But by 325 AD, the Council of Nicaea proclaimed that every city with a cathedral should also have a hospital, which should also serve as a shelter for the poor. So you see, it was the compassion of Christianity alone that gave us the hospitals and the homeless shelters that we have now.